Hello, and welcome to MindMeister. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your first mind map. Let's start in the map listing view. This is the first thing you'll see when signing in. This is where you store and organize all of your mind maps. You can create a new mind map by clicking here. This is the mind map editor. At its center, you'll find the root topic of your new map. This is where you write the title or central idea you want to focus on. Let's say you want to plan a project, so we'll call this map Project Plan. From the root topic, we can now create child topics that will branch off in all directions. To create a child topic, press the Tab key and write a keyword in the new note that appears. To finish, press Enter. If we press Enter more than once, we'll have created another topic. Together, these two topics are what we call sibling topics because they're on the same hierarchical level. We'll call this one Project Team and add a few more sibling topics to the same level. Now, let's get into more detail by adding child topics to each of the main branches we've created. To do this, click on a topic and then hit the Tab key. Tab and Enter are really the only two shortcuts you need to quickly create a mind map. If you make a mistake, you can always go back and rewrite the text in a topic. If you want to move a topic anywhere in the map editor, you'll need to enable manual layout. You can do this in two ways. When the topic is selected, click the layout menu on the vertical styling toolbar, or right-click the topic and navigate to the layout panel. Toggle auto align off. You can now place the topic anywhere in the mind map editor. This is called a freely positioned topic. To pull it back to Auto Layout, simply drag and drop the topic onto its parent, or toggle the Auto Align option back on from the Layout panel. With Backspace, you can delete the topic completely. If you've made a mistake, simply hit Ctrl or Command Z to undo. If you want one of the branches to stand on its own, you can detach it via the Layout menu option here. To draw connections between topics, use the Connections option on the Actions menu. So those are the basics for creating a new mind map with MindMeister. Check out additional tutorials to learn more about what MindMeister can do. Thanks for watching and happy mapping.